So you may have just learned that now, the Nintendo Switch has Game Boy Advance games as a part of their online expansion pack. And in that small few they've released so far, there's one that is barely even an original Game Boy Advance game, and that's Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3. My god, what a, what a mouthful of a name. It's a 2003 GBA version of one of, if not the greatest 2D platforming game ever made. Obviously, you gotta love the first two Super Mario Bros. games, but <laughs> come on, Mario 3 is where it's at. And this game looks and plays excellently on the Switch, leaving some to argue that this might just be the best way to currently play Super Mario Bros. 3, saving, of course, crazy ROM hacks and fan projects. But personally, I'm not too sure about that. Currently, on the Switch Online service, there are three ways to play Super Mario Bros. 3. Through the NES games, the ability to play the original 8-bit Super Mario Bros. 3. Through the SNES games, there's Super Mario All-Stars, which contains a remade 16-bit Super Mario Bros. 3. And now, through GBA games, Mario Advance 4. The original is still fantastic, and I can't blame you if you say this is still your favorite version. has its visual style beautifully crafted, while still showing some age in its borders and various other oddities. And even though this was one of the first games I ever even played and enjoyed, deep into my early childhood, the remake for SNES is just too... superior. The All-Stars version of 3 is really what informs Advance 4, much more than the original. Much of the sprites are directly ripped from All-Stars, after all. It just plays so wonderfully. It keeps the original essence of the game strong with its sprites, but adds so much more depth with the wider array of available colors the SNES could output. Music is where some people may also lean more towards the NES, interestingly enough, but I still prefer how All-Stars sounds. Comparing them all, it's hard to say one is much better than the others. They all have fun, unique quirks that makes a playthrough of any one of them its own fun cycle. And since the game is so replayable with the use of warp whistles, you can really just easily explore the game's levels in almost any order you choose. Mario Advance 4 does add a lot of its own things too, like voice acting. <laughs> What I needed. Despite the GBA not being known for always sounding the best, Advance 4 has great use of sound. <laughs> Just what I needed. Advance 4's version of Luigi is also much better, with a fun flutter jump animation for all you Luigi nerds out there. The wider aspect ratio and, at the time, smaller screen size meant that the developers also made Mario a touch larger in the frame than normal and some things in the normally 4x3 aspect ratio originals aren't immediately visible here in this version. Those e-reader levels are also available to play on Switch, and they're awesome. This is actually a really cool feature they included with the Switch release. World E is accessible from the file select screen and is freely navigable. Sure, there's no fun world map to explore and figure out, but the trade-off is great. It's a bunch of fun new levels including starting off with some classic levels, which are the first few stages from Mario 1 in the Mario Advance 4 engine. What I needed. Other levels, like Castle Dash, are just great fun and pretty challenging too. There's a lot here to enjoy, and it's all stuff that most people definitely didn't get the chance to initially play. So, it's there now. Check it out. Previously, these levels were basically inaccessible in a legal way. I mean, unless you had those e-reader cards just hanging around and, you know, all the tools you need to use to access them, but I, I you know, you, you don't. Be honest, you don't. While I really enjoyed my playthrough of Advance 4, I still think I prefer All-Stars. There's just something more simple about it, and playing them on a bigger screen doesn't hinder it at all, where things can feel at times a bit more cropped on GBA. No matter what though, the brilliant design of Super Mario Bros. 3 shines through any version, making any version worthwhile. 
What really matters is playing Super Mario Bros. 3 in some capacity if you haven't already. It is an ultimate classic for a reason.